Oh, I'm sorry. My angel wings have been getting in the way today. Come on in and don't be surprised if I fly away. I have flown into Harold's section. Come on in and do you think I'm doing it alone? I'm not. Da -da 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 -da. TJ's here. We're all together. Part two, well, part one of Harold's second room. Can we just get a pan? Of, look at this. I mean, talk about a sneak peek. My goodness, Harold's been busy. Christmas landed. Christmas has landed right here. And we have a lot to cover. Starting with some amazing vintage ornaments. Oh my goodness. So let me tell you, if anyone knows ornaments, it's Harold. He does. He knows the value. He knows the history. He knows all about them. I, on the other hand, just call them baubles. But they're not baubles. They're ornaments. Take it away, Harold. What's happening there? Uh, well, a lot of different things going on. We got some mercury glass figures here, Santa and uh, Snowman. The Santa's 58, Snowman is 38. Um, cool mercury glass tree here that's lighted. It's $48. Um, Santa next to the phone booth. That definitely is an antique that if he's is. next to a phone booth. That's $12. Um, and, you know, who wouldn't want to take this lovely home? <laughs> This little ballerina, she's four dollars. So as we're gonna flip through here really quickly. And we know somebody that collects brooms, and there's a Santa broom. Gloria for twelve dollars. Santa broom. We have, we have two. It's hot today. Is it not hot? <laughs> it's like who would have guessed? Especially with my lap dog. Only only in SoCal. <laughs> we have a lot of brooms. Uh, I'm counting three this show for you, Gloria. So grab that one. That one's amazing though. That one is uh, Santa. I'm gonna flip through here really quickly and throw out some numbers at you. Fourteen dollars for this sign. Um, of course, you could always use these in San Diego, right? On the yep. beach. Yes, on the beach. I challenge someone to buy those. Where I'm on the beach, videotape it, send us to it, and we will post it. And if you remember last show on Saturday evening, it snowed here. We had white on the ground. That's right. So it did. Could have used them. So those are thirty-eight dollars. Um, of course, the Mercury. That's that's a big sign, right? That it's vintage. Yeah. I'm guessing. Okay, let's come on over here, you guys. I love what's happening here. Um, some vintage little cards and whatnot, some fun little ornaments. Uh, tell me if there's anything you want me to stop at. I'm talking about $18 here, these cute little figurines. I'm guessing those are made in Japan. They are, and they are um, like 40s, and they're little place card holders. So you have them at the table, <gasps> and there's a, a slot in the back for the little note card for so everybody knows where they're supposed to sit, oh, be seated. How cute. Now, those little figurines have to be at, le at least six feet apart. <laughs> In their world. <laughs> In their own little world. Um, vintage uh, Santa and Mrs. Santa. This is Betty Lynn Nichols, uh, famous California potter. And those are probably made in the uh, 50s and or 60s. Mm -hmm. I love uh, a lot of the, the little festive things going on here. Ho, 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 plate. <laughs> and it also says fa la la, which is really fun. Uh, some cute little cars. Look at that. That's a Volkswagen. Yep. You can tell the symbol, right? Little Peace. Volkswagen. Um, coming on over here, cloche with Santa on it. Some nice little houses here, $8. Those do hang. So I believe these are ornaments? They are. They are ornaments. Weighted accordingly. So you can decorate them with them or hang them on, mm -hmm. on your tree. This is great. A little bell wreath. Very, very fun. Uh, nice little sparkle pop up there. What are we looking at price-wise? So the wreath is $38. This candelabra is $78. And if you buy it, I'm going to throw in the silver sparkles. Whoa! Freebie! Freebie! <laughs> Come on over here. Uh, we want to get this little ornament tree. Uh, I love how he's displaying this. We've got um, bananas and, and little orbs and all kinds of things Margarita. going on. <laughs> Margar oh, look at it. $4. But I would guess kind of the average price on your ornaments, we're kind of looking at four bucks, right? More or yes, less? Yes, in that range. Absolutely. Okay. And a lot of selection. Yeah, definitely a lot of selection. And if you want to know the history on that, um, also art is an incredible... Uh, uh, just source of knowledge as it comes to any of the history of the uh, or the age of the ornaments. He he told me all about that. Coming on over here, I love the vintage toys. We're looking at six dollars on that, which is an incredible deal. Um, another little cloche, uh, Mexico. It is, I believe, El Salvador. <laughs> Dang it! That happened to me yesterday. <laughs> yes, El Salvador. <laughs> See, I should have known now because the other one was from El Salvador. Okay, um, coming over here, we've got a little Santa plate for $28. That is clearly vintage, uh, isn't it? 
It is. Um, I would say probably 80s. Um, it is a Christopher Radko piece. So. 80s? That means I'm older than vintage. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I hate to break it to you, but 1980 was 40 years ago. I am in, <laughs> I am in a antique store. Yes. So, okay, you guys, these are some of our favorite things. Uh, a few repeats, but a lot of originals. Uh, that we haven't seen the last show. We love the enamel, uh, $18 on those, such a heck of a deal. Uh, we've got the red and the, is that blue or black it's line black. there? Uh, really classy, and if I, you remember a couple of videos ago, I was talking about how um, Gina, her whole kitchen is done like that, and it is beautiful and really, really tastefully done. Um, some pieces you wanna point out? Um, this uh, coffee, butter, uh, butternut coffee jar is new and it's a cool vintage piece. Most of the label is still there. That's $18. Uh, this bottle came in. It is a one gallon bottle, but it's Kuyamaka water bottle. And they were only in business 1910 to 1926. So uh, from that time frame. He's thrilled. That dog's thrilled. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, some really fun uh, doorstop. Oh, wait on that rooster. Uh, $38 on that. I love the, the color. Uh, kind of that vintage color there. Of course, the Crocs are back. We love those, $138. Those are the Bauer Pottery, beautiful. A vintage Santa up there. We're looking at what, Harold? $18. $18 on him. Cardboard cutout. Beautiful. And Windsor Club, $12. Happy Holidays, little sign here. A little vintage elf, uh, $8 on him. This is a great little snowman plate, $16 on that. That's great for serving appetizers um, or desserts. Would be really fun little donuts. Oh, Dutch oven, uh, $98. So this is vintage. I don't know if you guys know too much about cast iron. Um, we at the Betty in the Betty Carker house are, are huge believers in cast iron. We only cook on cast iron. That's all we use. Um, and so right now, this is a beautiful one. Uh, these Dutch ovens are incredible. You could do a whole like chicken in there, uh, stew, whatnot. And then, but this show, I'm hoping. I just talked to my husband today about it. Uh, he has about nine different cast iron skillets and he will be doing the seasoning process, burning off all the old, using 100% uh, organic flaxseed oil and starting over from scratch. A five-step process takes a lot of time, but look for those in the barn. Hopefully those will be in here. Um, from this point over, anything you want to talk about? Let's keep going. I think we'll keep going. Okay, move on over here. Um, some beautiful silver. He's got that every show. Love that coming back. Um, those are gorgeous pieces for your Christmas dinner, um, your dinner table. <laughs> Even though it might be less people around the dinner table, yeah. you can go fancier this year. Or not. You could lug from this thing, go, 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 if you're having one of those days and you just be like, no family party. Fill that bad boy up. You can get the boxes from Trader Joe's of wine for like $10 and load it. <laughs> They'll be so impressed. That one is $88 though. That is a very rare Toyota, uh, what something bottle? Save Mart bottle? Mm -hmm. And it's all uh, engraved. 88 bucks? Okay. 88 bucks. Okay. Um, Somebody enjoyed the insides. Yes, us. it's empty. It's empty. Okay, come on over here, you guys. Of course, Fiesta Ware, uh, he can talk to you about some of that. Um, that orange pot is new, though, right? It is. So, in this section right here, it's what we call post 86, which is when they reissued uh, Fiesta. But uh, a lot of colors have been retired, and a lot of uh, go along pieces like this pot have been uh, retired, so no longer available. And. Price on this pot is $58. Um, and then over here into the vintage pot uh, Fiesta. Great selection there as well. Lots of uh, fun colors. This carafe is new, this show, uh, 168, and it is cobalt. So nice piece. It would be a great Christmas gift for someone, even for yourself. Get a room, you two. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Tell They're, me about these, Harold. They are vintage, probably 50s, maybe 60s. Naughty. Um, and she is a music box. Of course so. she is. <laughs> so if she's happy, she sings. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> rocking. 
Very slow though. Well, you, you gave her one wine, so. Okay. Well, didn't give her didn't give her much of a start. I can't wind her up like that other angel can. Okay, you guys, coming on over here, some amazing um, nativity scenes. We're getting a lot of phone calls about these. You want to move fast. Again, if you want to purchase before the show, you can. All sales are final, but we can give you any descriptions, more photos, whatever you want. Um, but in the meantime, we want you to ask for assistance and info from this guy, Harold. <laughs> so um, we sold. I probably 10 or a dozen uh, nativity sets last show. So a lot of new selection here and some smaller sets, some larger sets. Um, this set right here with the crush is $24. A little uh, plastic set, kind of unusual, but cute, $9. Um, here's a gold set from Italy and with the crush and that is $20. And then this set here is new this show. It just came in, it's 12 pieces and it is $48. And there are more nativity scenes over here. I think we have three more. Yes. Um, oh, this no, this four, five. this little set is, <laughs> is uh, They're new. They're breeding. Yes, is new this show, but a very cute uh, tin stamp set from Mexico. So, and that is uh, thirty-eight dollars. Uh, little eight-piece set here, eighteen dollars. Another gold six-piece set, twenty-four. Um, and then some little ornaments that are nativity. Um, as well, so like eight dollars, six dollars, so lots of choices there. Speaking of, of nativity scenes, um, here at Brick and Barn, as you come in in front of the property, we have a life size nativity scene, hand painted, made of wood. It is vintage, uh, for the low low price of one hundred and thirty dollars. I think it has I mean, it has the camels, like two camels and ten sheep and whatnot. I mean, it's it's massive, uh, one hundred thirty bucks, with one caveat, it's missing baby Jesus. <laughs> Someone stole them, not from us, but in the past. So fun little story. My mom went out, she bought a baby Jesus, um, not vintage, from Walmart. Wa swaddled the guy up, uh, put baby Jesus into the manger, and he looked, he looked gorgeous. I was like, oh, good job, mom. Um, and then I said, Harold, did you see we got a baby Jesus? And he said, yeah, but you must have been in a hurry because I kind of noticed he was just flung. Well, lo and behold, I didn't fling him. Uh, Maple pulled him from the manger dug a hole in the dirt, put him in the dirt, and pulled off his pants. So we've cleaned him up. He's on hold until show time. But uh, all that to say, you are not alone in your suffering, okay? So that's a great manger scene, 130 bucks. Check it out when you come to Brick and Barn. Come on over here. Oh, more vintage ornaments. Yes, so a lot of selection of ornaments. Um, bottom there are hand-painted ornaments that have uh, dogs on them. Here, so different um, breeds of dogs. Oh. But those are very cute, but again, hand painted. Those are beautiful. Those that's a Doberman, I believe. So if you're into dogs, this is you want to check this out. Oh, that's a um, what's that kind of dog? <laughs> don't is break it. Afghan? It. He would know. Anyway, I bet they don't have a Chihuahua. <laughs> no, that's spoken for. Is there a TJ in there? <laughs> okay, come over here, you guys. We love all this old uh, vintage hardware. We got some nice pieces over here, some Christmas dishes uh, with the holly. You can tell some of these are even hand painted. $5 a plate, uh, $12 a plate over here with the Christmas scene. Um, this is, I love these platters. These are perfect for uh, passing around cookies. This is made in France, looking at $14 on that, $8 on this. Uh, some fun pieces up here. This is uh, hand blown glass. A uh, great motif, absolutely stunning. A uh, lot of work went into this. Um, get the whole collection with the glasses and the pitcher. Uh, it's perfect for sangria, right? Sangria yes. is good uh, any time of year for $88, beautiful. And some little Mexican figurines. Those are the sleeping Mexican. Um, they are, so bookends, and they also open up and you can they can be a candle holder. Or a stash box. <laughs> <laughs> Santa right, didn't Harold? Santa didn't hear that. No, he did not. Come on over here. Oh, I love the little pig collection. I know somebody who has real pigs. So I'm gonna <laughs> so you you learned about James Hatton. Did you remember? I did, okay. I do. So yeah. I'm gonna teach you something else today. These pigs right here are called Hep Pigs, H E P P. I knew that. And it's whole eyed pottery pigs. Look at that. Whole eyed pottery pigs. Hep. That's hep. a hep version. Oh. So probably, I think one of these is actually dated. This one's dated 1922. Okay. So, oh my goodness! Cool pieces. Gorgeous. They were made in the U.S. Also, I think this one here is um, stamped Austria. So they were made around the world. It was kind of the 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 souvenir to get when you were when you. Were
you were traveling. So. And I believe that's the souvenir that you get when you go to Sweden. Am I right? Is this Swedish? It is not. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good guess. You guys, I'm really I, I know my geography you were close. You were and close. I feel like I I'm like nailing it every time. This is no joke. That was bad. The ones from Sweden Dang have it. flowers painted on them. So that, that's and it's very kind know. of a shiny orange lacquered paint. So, but you were very close, idea. very close. You were close. testing me. Okay, that's what I you was, were doing. I was. Is this a Monterey? It is not. Ah! <laughs> it is not. Um, again, testing. It is primitive, so I'm guessing uh, probably late, it could be late 1800s, uh, early 1900s. Um, Rory. Ha handmade. Um, and I love it. There's so much character because you can see over the years that the handles were changed. They also changed out the locks, but they, oh, I mean, right. did a really uh, precise job of replacing that wood. Um, but a lot of character and just really sturdy piece, uh, $238. So they a locked every history. drawer, remember that? Uh, Rory Lavender, kitty cats, you need this. And this I'm guessing, don't don't tell me. Mexico? No. Ah! <laughs> Greek, but, Greek, I see olives, Greek? Yes, that is Greece. Uh, but this is, ding, 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 ding. this is Laurel Birch, she was very famous for um, her cats and we have a couple of collectors because we've sold quite a few of her pieces, paintings. But Laura Birch's family, great, great, great grandfather is from Mexico, so I yes. wasn't wrong. No, you weren't. Thank you. <laughs> come on over here, some TJ's sparkle. Come back to rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> some sparkle. Some sparkle. So vintage piece. Your um, twinsies. That. Uh, Janice. Yes, and uh, a lot of work went into that. Uh, but a cool piece, and it is $88, but nice size. Uh, I love the blue background, um, the colored lights, and again, a lot of sparkle. So if, if you want it easy, you just buy that, you put it up, and you say, I have my Christmas tree up. That's easy. Or if you want to take it apart and make a bracelet, <laughs> you could. It would be a big bracelet. W work in reverse. Okay, we've got a golden pineapple, $18. By the way, the other night, my husband and I, we were just feeling that we wanted to watch something mindless and just dumb. So we watched Pineapple Express and tears were coming down my face. If you want a really funny movie, Pineapple Express, which has nothing to do with that except it's a pineapple. Tell me about that. It is a golden pineapple. It is a golden pineapple. You got that right. <laughs> and, uh, but very heavy. So it could be used as a um, book holder or just for decorative. This was in my pocket. <laughs> I was doing laundry right before. <laughs> it was that, now my, we know what, 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 does it have a number on it? No. Oh, okay. My turkey is oh. stealing my, um, she broke this. She broke the clothespin. Okay, these are fun. These are vintage. These are vintage. I love these. My grandparents and had one. So, um, very popular, those home ceramics. And this one uh, is $48, but great shape. And it's got sparkle in the, in the glaze. So, fun piece. Uh, we've got some golden uh, angels. I mean, I can't, you know, can't really because my that's fake. My my wings are real. But anyway, kind of get a sense. There's a golden one. We've got one over here. A uh, little little ornament. No, what is this? Snow globe. No, candle. Yes. Votive. Yes. Twenty two dollars. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Some fun vintage pieces over here. I'm gonna quickly wrap it up right here. And um, I love that. Uh, El dolce far mite which means the sweet something night? Yes. I think. We're but gonna look that up. We'll be I'm right back. I'm pretty sure it's the sweet farnite. Farn 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 Somebody tell me. I should know that. It's Italian, but I don't speak Italian, but I'm guessing. And then some great pieces over here. I love this vignette. Oh my goodness, Harold, you nailed it right here. Uh, I love this. Is this a belt or what is that? It is a belt. It's a vintage <gasps> uh, belt. And so somebody needs to you know, wear that and rock wear it. Wear that and rock it at their <laughs> leisure, own, at their personal <laughs> Christmas party this year. Party for one. <laughs> and on that note, I want to end with the wagon. One hundred eighty-eight dollars. This is a nice antique wagon. Incredible. You want to tell me about that? So that came from an estate sale here in Valley Center, and uh, was in the in the family and. I, the upper portion, there's some restoration to it, but the wheels and the carriage all original mm -hmm. and uh, very cool piece and hard to find. And is that like a massive doble? It is a massive doble. <laughs> Make a candle out of that. Yes, that's 
That's a lot of wicks. That's amazing. But it does have spaces, so I'm not sure.